Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris with me of Bio Mega and the United Federation of Planets in Star Trek New Horizons mod. So, welcome back to the session. Uh, wait, what am I doing? I actually started recording because Schnell Secundus has just been successfully colonized and now... Wow, that was right. That's a really... Wait, was it Chanel? Isn't it some other planet? Or are you... Yeah, Chanel Secundus. That's a rapid growth though. It's already telling me... 4.3. We were... Oh yeah, they probably colonized it right before the end of the month and they got... A bonus already so we'll need to enlarge the Viridian sector uh, to accommodate this because we're already getting a huge penalty to energy credits and I think naval capacity uh, something else to just not a good idea to not do that um, Viridian sector where the hell are you Haika Behrama Antares Prime. Wait, is it a sector? No, wait, that's Viridian. Oh, that's Yaldira space. Okay, so that's not a sector. We need to create a new one, but we can, which is good. So, wait, Zeta Reticui is not a sector. Why? Oh, because the colonization is happening right now? What? Oh yeah, that's that's that. Okay, so it's happening right now. That's why it's not a sector. I did not react to that yet. But it will be. So let's call this Schnell Zetaratikuli sector. And I don't believe there's any other planets nearby we want to put there, are they? Do we have the Duma as a planet? Yeah, this is a planet, Duma. Hmm, why do I keep it... I'm actually confused. Uh... No, wait, that's a sector as well, it seems. Yeah, it definitely is. So that's a Durnali sector, okay. So, Zetarity QE Schnell is one thing. Are we gonna... We're gonna mess with you for sure. I don't think there's much we can do here. We can build the zoo unless we upgrade. So we're gonna go here and get me a basic power plant. I'm gonna build another basic power plant here. And honestly, I could build an industrial fabricator here. Okay, let's do that. Put you on the industrial fabricator and then with the basic basic power plant. They're gonna mess up with that, but I expect people to move in. Also, uh, we now have a full fleet. The 14th fleet is at full power, so I'm sending it to deal. Damn, that's a nice. What the hell is that? We have a primary star. Is this a. Uh... Yeah, man, see. Oh, that's a brown dwarf. I thought that was um, that was a, a gas supergiant, but no, that's a that's a binary system, and we have two planets orbiting it, ge two geoactive planets orbiting a brown dwarf. Uh, that seems a bit weird, but they're orbiting it at a incredibly uh, low. How would it be? Well, well very close. <laughs> Sorry, me not talk English today. Me not good at that. Uh, me do not like. Anyway, so let's see how you are gonna deal with this situation in the Danner system. I have people ready here to colonize and, uh, well, survey and colonize it. How are we doing here? We got this one done, so you should get Dumont. The Borg are still the Borg. I don't think they're 
this is super super awesome that they can just destroy an entire Imperium like that. Now back to our fleet here. Technology okay, discovered. they're almost there. And what did we finish? The ship upgrade cost lowered. Civic slots. Uh, okay, that's an interesting one. Leader recruitment cost is also a good one. Psychoneuro medical complex Engaging or advanced the assimilation. Okay, I already screwed up. Uh, let's go with the mind training, I guess. Why not? Something cheap, um, even though it's very. It has very little use. Wait, how can we have. I think free strength you had 10k. Don't tell me they already destroyed one of your ships. That would have been nasty. No, it's the 14th fleet. Oh, and I should have pulled on a leader. They probably get some kind of bonus there. But it looks like with a bit of luck we'll be able to clear out this fleet and then deal with the other one. And yeah, it's those dinky little ships that we can destroy one by one. Oh wait, actually that's us. Fuck! <laughs> They're destroying us, not us them. Damn. So that dinky little ship that I was pointing to was ours. Holy crap. And yeah, we're already killing some of them, but damn. That was not what I... I walked right into that. How can we... Wow, we lost a lot of strength already. Yeah, two frigates were lost already. The destroyer is gone. And another one is gone. Yeah, we're not faring well here. But okay, that was a decent blow. Well, I thought that's how it should be, or how it will be, we'll just have to come back and back and back again. If I put some, we'll destroy them and have to deal with the other one later. Though this is super scary, knowing that these guys could attack us at any moment at their own leisure. Jesus Christ, guys, they're just hemorrhaging ships here. The battlecruiser just retreated. I severely misunderstood the veracity of the situation. Here. Come on. Take them down. Now the good news is that some of our ships have... Please retreat! Retreat, Ranger! No, we lost the battle cruiser. Okay, well that is a painful loss. So go me and battle cruiser. Use your class one. Crap. Oh, we're actually gonna retreat here. Uh, we can't even take down one of these. It's not exactly what I was hoping to see. Yeah, they're gone. They just left two cruisers there. And I don't think we're... Well, we're very close to destroying one of their ships. Uh, nope, not worth it. Treat guys. Holy crap, that was... Emergency FTO casualties, one ship damaged. Won't we destroy nine of the raider? That's probably. No, it can't be frigates. They lost two frigates and nine of the raider caused ships. They did not lose the outpost. So, the 14th fleet, here they are. 5.8. 6k left out of 9,000 nearly. So with the battlecruiser, now have 100. Oh, that's an annoying glitch. Can get rid of that, please. 
Can we get rid of that, please? Okay, I'll look this way then. So with uh, that battle cruiser, they'll have 149,152. So they could get another cruiser afterwards, and that would be wait, that's 162. So they can't. Well, they can get a destroyer and two frigates. Exactly what they had before. Yikes. Uh, well. That was not one of our proudest moments, I have to say. And it's where we're situated the Power Hub colony. and the Polydoranium Vive Hall. There's really not much we can do. So let's check uh, LV426, which is. Oh my god, which is a planet touching a supergiant. Gas yeah, supergiant. Colonized by Iridians who are mad at me for some reason. Habitability though is 95%, so I guess that makes sense, but why? He's probably a fascist or something. <laughs> they all are. Okay, the industrial fabricate will be done soon, so then we can move on. Wait, no, it has been finished, but the pop will be r there soon. We can then build a basic mine here. And that's five pops, then we can upgrade and start dealing with the zoo here. I'd like to clear that, but they can't afford it. Ships upgraded. Chanel Prime will be much better. So the seventh fleet has been upgraded, that's nice. And 16th Fleet is still... Yeah, they can do anything until the star base is upgraded. Well, okay, we still sit at 42 uh, naval... Uh, well, star base capacity though. It's freaking me out. Okay, no change now. Which is scary as hell for one reason. I don't actually think that the Borg can come and attack. Wait, I can try that. Okay, they can. But most likely they would come to Dumont. <laughs> or Dalmina or Norcadia. We don't really care about Lancidia. So I'd really like to protect Dumont from a possible Borg incursion. Especially because there's a planet there which we can terraform holy crap that's pretty good so you guys norcadians what do you prefer we're gonna make this for you because you're gonna colonize it okay they got bought for norcadians and brunali but we're gonna just take care of our own which is the norcadians and the Norcadians have a continental preference. Yeah, continental habitability. So let's turn this planet. Wait. Wait what is this? Is this a Borg science vessel here? Please don't. <laughs> I don't really want you here. That's not... You're not welcome. Please leave the premises. Do not study us. We are not interesting at all. In fact, we're not here. Oh my god. The Borg and the Klingon Cardassian Union are here. Next to each other. Doing nothing. What a standstill. <laughs> I can't really wait for the Fendomar states to be ready for doing anything. Okay, and we need someone to command this fleet. I've done a huge mistake by not taking care of that before. Evasion. Well, everyone is a logistician, but... Well, I guess that one is at least better. 
Uh, fire rate plus 6. If we put him, that's fire rate plus 12. You still got evasion. So it's evasion and fire rate plus 5% basically. Uh, not bad. Better than nothing. Better than nothing. Commanding an empire of this size is actually pretty harrowing. Oh, I did not send you back. 9.4k. Well, not that you would have a lot of chances against the Borg, but... Eh. Still could be pretty decent. But we got crew quarters here, why are you not... You should be resting, I'm not happy about paying that much energy for nothing. Mendes Prime. Okay, you guys are upgrading the planetary capital, which is awesome. People here will be super busy soon. And we really need to also replenish our fleet here. So, did I calculate that correctly? 139k, or 149 out of 180. So it's 159, 162. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. No more cruisers, just a destroyer, and then a patrol frigate, and then another patrol frigate, which is good from the point of view of role playing. But that's not. The two frigates are gonna die immediately after we enter Dalmer again. Well. Now, the Fendomar states will be taken very soon into the Federation, at which point we'll have a very... We'll have basically two exclaves. We'll have the main territory here, working on the Romulans who will then join us, and we'll have one Exclave here and the second one here, both of them in the vicinity of the Borg. Which is scary. Yeah, the Borg are here because they don't know what to do. This entire territory has been taken by the Klingon, the Cardassian alliance. This is basically until they peace out, which I don't really think they can, otherwise they would already. Revenge is a dish best served cold. Klingon pacification of Hulls. They get defender war exhaustion 97%, yet they still do not peace out. Why? There has to be some... Some free systems that I don't see here. Might it be this? This is also taken. Hmm... No, at least there's no active conflict happening here, which is why the Borg are not expanding, I guess. The so Borg does that will mean... Come again. It is inevitable. I don't oh, know. <laughs> I, I admit that's a bit confusing. Because how the hell... The Borg have taken all they can. The Prey War has taken all they can. The Klingon Cardassian Alliance has taken all they can. The Chernobyl's declared war has pretty much all there is to it. I don't see the Hydrogen are not at war with anyone. They're just being there. Another junta. Hostile, but I remember they we had some treaties before. So it seems like uh, the uh, Beta and Delta Quadrant are just at a standstill right now until someone gets into the middle of this. That's a weird situation, I won't lie. Okay, Mendes, you're finished. So build, build me a naval depot and a crew quarters. Where's the crew quarters? 
and the buying luxury colonial because it's all the way up here <laughs> and you should now station the same crew quarters and then a naval depot okay I guess this was another nice update what is AD Lyonis business nothing you do have crew quarters so what could you build us here you do have the orbital science lab as well you do have the defense grid as well now there's the ad leonis in there and some of these people are pretty unhappy so let's put the colonial bureau colonial bureau if i can find it main command hub Oh, Colonial Deluxe Restaurant, Colonial Bureau right here. Well, it produces unity as well, so even if it doesn't sway anyone our way, it's still worth it, you know. And I guess on that note, I'm going to end the episode and do a little skip ahead, because there's not much here that we can do last but not least i want to check how we're doing here we have 440 people and 221 in the main liberation watch and council of exobiology so that's 661 billion people and then the rest of the population is pretty unhappy well, the Daystrom Institute of Technology is also okay. Discovery. Initiating communications. These guys could get... We can count them as the happy because they value what we have right now. So that's 660, 528 billion. Uh, no. 720... Uh, 9 billion and we have well it's less than half but we don't see the information from the sectors I guess no no <laughs> okay as I said I'll see you in the next episode